thanks to um, Stuart from All Grief, Truth and Justice campaign. I first went to the Calais jungle a couple of years ago. And obviously everybody knows that refugees are fleeing war-torn countries, which must be horrific. And that the journeys that they endure to reach Calais are horrific. But what I didn't realise was the worst thing about day-to-day -day life was the brutality that they suffered at the hands of the police and the National Guard. 50% um, of which we pay for in partnership with France. Um, so this, I'm going to do a quick poem about that and it's called Le Tricolor, or the Tricolor in English. <laughs> it's 5am in January and the sky is like a mine shaft at the jungle refugee camp where sleep is at a premium. They almost look like fireworks but they're heading for the ground. These canisters of CS gas designed to make you weep. From the fog above a swamp to a thick and creamy cloud. By the dozen load the landing in the centre of the crowd. Heartbeat quadruple with the rocket's downward arc. Blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Folk disperse like pool balls on a break. Distant smartphones follow it like snipers. Woolly hats and flip-flops taking cover where they can. The odd ironic cheer preceding chaos. The National Guard are going hard on unarmed refugees, ignoring shrieks of panic, humanitarian pleas. In riot gear, they circle the perimeter like sharks, blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Blinded bodies dodge between grenades that cause concussion. If lucky, then the next lot might land on that tarpaulin. A well-prepared assault from the safety of the shadows, no warning, no discussion, no mercy. Between businesses and hand-built homes, it suddenly feels like trenches. Rubber, bullets, pummel flesh, the water cannon drenches. An air raid in the dead of night, no bites, just barks. Blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Blue lights, white smoke, red sparks. Cheers. I've got one last quick one to do. It's only about a minute long and it rhymes and I'm preaching to the converted, but sometimes it's good to mobilise the troops. Um, the last word is a swear word, but I won't say it. But the rhyme is so obvious, you can fill in the gap yourself, alright? <laughs> Don't let them tell you the NHS is destined to be privatised. Dump you in a global recession and force you to acclimatise. Moralistic platitudes when parliaments are live with lies. Told Murdoch will be laughing on the day democracy dies. From benefit cuts to the bedroom tax, we return to no Irish dogs or blacks. Immigration street, let's kick them out and boot them hard. What about tax evasion terrace, bankers bonus boulevard? I'm sick to death of moguls for bosses, billionaires inflicting losses on working folk who are skint and demoralised, year after year of being politically colonised. Don't let the Tories inflict any more. They might have won the battle, but will win the war. Over the next four years, the art of protest must be mastered. If we all spit together, we can drown the setter. Bastard. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.